So now we know how to make a sound. So the thing we are going to do is we are going to aim for our first note. And our first note that we want to play is G, which is open. So we're not gonna press any valves down. We're gonna take our big breath and we're gonna buzz into our mouthpiece and we're gonna hold the G for as long as possible. So if you have a trumpet, I'll give you a second to give it a try. Okay, and I'll do it again with you. So open. Okay, very good. So that's our very first note, and that is a G. Okay? So going back to earlier when I talked about the different valves, there are only three valves. However, there are more than three notes that we can play on the trumpet. So the big question is, how do we change notes with only three valves? So in order to change notes, we use a combination of our air and the valve. So that open fingering I gave is, um, has many different notes that you can play, okay? So that open fingering on the trumpet can be G, it can be low C, it can be high C, it can be a high E, it can be high G, and it can be high C again. So how can it be all those different notes? We use our lips and our air to change the pitch. We want to loosen our lips for lower notes, and we want to tighten our lips and blow the air faster when we play high, okay? So once we figured out G, the next step is to see if we can hit that low C. So we're gonna just relax our embouchure a little bit. We're still gonna take that big breath. We're gonna see if we can get that nice C. Okay, very good. Now, let's see if we can get the C an octave above. So what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna try to tighten our lips and we're gonna blow our air a little faster. So remember to take a big breath. The big breath is really gonna help us. So now once we have that, we can then expand to incorporating the valves, okay? So let's go back to our G. So now we can go a little lower and play F. F is gonna be a little lower than G and we're gonna press the first valve. So again, using my lips and using that first valve, I was able to play F. Now, what if we wanted to go a little higher than G? What if we wanted to play A? A is one and two, and we're gonna blow a little faster and we're gonna tighten our lips. So to play A, that's how we play A. Now, what happens to a lot of people is they try to play A and they accidentally sometimes might get this note. That lower note is E. So it's very important when we try to play a certain note that we're hearing what the note should sound like in our ears, and we're making sure that we're blowing the air fast enough and tightening, okay? So that is the key, is to blow the air faster and to tighten, okay? So those ha that's how we change um, the change the notes, okay?